Hey guys and gals, let's look at some modern art by Lego. This is set number 31210, contains 805 bricks, retails for $49.99, and this set was provided by the Lego group for early review. And I can't hold my laugh in anymore. I don't know who designed this, but nothing like any modern art I've seen before. And look, create your own. Well, I could do that without any, any of these parts. And look, you can one picture with four options. Ooh, doesn't that sound exciting? Uh, this is what we can do here. So you can hang it on a wall or set it on a table or, well, I don't know about that. Well, let's crack this modern art open and see what it looks like. I'm just dying to see what's in the box. And I'm just going to combine the unboxing with the view. Well... It looks plain on the box, but man, there's a lot of little pieces in here. I was expecting something more grand. I'm hoping there's no stickers in here too, but here's the building guide here. Legoland. I've never been to a Legoland. This talks about the various th things and about the artist. And yeah. So this one here is broken down into sessions. Well, that's pretty cool. So I guess we're making portions of it. Yeah, it looks like this is probably something I could probably do in one sitting, but we'll save that for my second channel, which will be in the description below. If you want to take a look at that, we'll be doing a live build on this too with the commentary. And what I'm gathering is seven bags of parts. And are the individual? I don't know. I got five, seven, six, three, and that's probably a one. And then we have a set of 8 by 16 plates, one in blue and one in bright pink. Well, this is a nice start with bag one. It's all white bricks. Well, that's uh, not too colorful in there, is it? Wow, okay. So the brick separator and two of these red 2x2 two two bricks are the only color that's in here. Okay, and so a lot of this stuff's pretty common. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. We get a couple 1x8 bricks, 2x8 bricks. So, so far, lots of bricks in here. Matter of fact, there's probably enough room to build a house. And some 2x12 plates. Those could come in handy. And plenty of 1x4 Technic bricks. This is obviously going to be a modular where we can put the pieces together. 6x6 six six round plates, 4x4 four four quarter round plates. Anything useful in here? 2x2 two two bricks. Well, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> I mean, and do I need to open that up? I mean, look at this. That's just 1x1 one one bricks and 1x2 Technic bricks. Wow, this is really going to be an exciting build, huh? And I found out a lot of you guys like watching these as they give you good inspiration what these parts could be used for, like these. I'd probably use these for campers. And one by one bricks, well, the usual. But now, so far, this doesn't look too exciting. But here we are with bag two, and I swear there's color in this set. Maybe we're getting through all the, the white parts first. I want to see color. It looks like this is just full of plates. Now, well, let's see. At least it's not dark colors, but still, it may as well just be black at this point. Some 6x6 six six round plates, some more of these 2x12s. Oh wow, we got 2x5s in here. We get a bunch of those? Not really. And some 4x4 four four quarter rounds, and plenty of these 1x4 plates with the two studs. Alright, 2x4 plates. Oh, we got a 2x2 two two flat tile. I got a billion of those. And some 2x6 plates. Well, that's essentially what it is. And... Yeah, I have a feeling it's probably going to take more time to unbox this than it would be to build it, huh? Let's see, we got 1x1, 1x2, a 1x2x2 corner angler flat tile. A couple of these corner pieces. And that's pretty much about it. Just that bag was full of flat tiles. So far, I'm not impressed. 
So all the colorful pieces were hiding in bag three. Okay. Pull all those out of there. Yeah, I see some flame yellowish orange. Two by six plates. We got some one by eight and two by plates in blue. Some of these one by four plates with the two studs in pink. We also have them in blue. Hint, you're gonna need a bunch of these for a future tutorial. And what I said, tutorials are gonna get challenging. And some four round, four by four plates, two by six plates. We got a, what is that, a two by four by four corner plate. Plenty of two by four plates. Oh, okay, we get some of these one by two bricks with half bow. We got a bunch of those in there. Look at all that, they just keep coming and coming. Now, mind you, this set's only $49.99. I'm looking to see if it's a good value for parts. And so far, not, not so much, but I haven't went through the whole bill. But look at all that. I mean, that, they just, they, you know, that's a bunch right there. Great for making bed spreads or the corners of a box truck. And some 4x4 four four flat tile with bow. And we also got some 3x3 three three flat tiles with bow. So that's pretty cool there. And, yeah, all the stuff we now we've seen a millions of times. Oh, there's another one of those corner plates. And it looks like this one here is just full of flat tiles. Two by two tile with bow. And we also got a one by one quarter flat tile. And plenty of these two by two pink tiles. Yeah, I mean, the whole point about these unboxings and I know some of you like these because you get to see what parts before you buy the set. So I appreciate you guys and gals commenting on your feelings on these because that makes me want to make more of these. Just like these right here. We got some more of these 1x2 bricks with half bow. Blue could be used for bed spreads. It could be used for water. Like if you're doing a waterfall, just imagine having these at the base and you just kind of decorate them with some studs or something like that. But you get a bunch of those in here. And some two by two flat tiles and stuff like that. So this bag here has some some common parts, but in some oddball colors too. Let's see what bag four has to offer. Yeah, I have a feeling the unboxing is going to take longer than the review. <laughs> okay, we got our usual black in here, but we have some of these black one by four by four brick with arch. One of these one by two plates, or a two by two plate that has a one by two plate on the side. And some two by eight bluish green plates. Those always come in handy for making vehicles and stuff, huh? And some one by four plates with the two studs. Two by two plates. Some more of these four by four flat tiles with bow. Quarter round four by four plate and a fully round or a uh, just a 4x4 four four round plate. And I bet these are probably going to go around that. Those are 3x3 three three flat tile with bow. 2x12 plates in red. In fact, I could use these to make a fire engine, huh? 1x2 bricks in black. Well, these are kind of oddball colored for me, so they're kind of new. Uh, bluish green is kind of a new color for me in my collection. So you get some 2x2 two two flat tiles, 2x2 two two plates, all sorts of stuff in there. Most of these parts I do have in my collection. Except for these. I don't have that bluish green. That color I'm slowly obtaining. And in this little bag here you get some half cut 2x2 two two flat tiles. Some 2x2 two two flat tile with, with bow. 1x2 plates. What else do we get in there? And that's it. Some 2x2 two two rounded jumper plates. And some quarter round 1x1 one one flat tiles. So essentially, yeah, there's nothing modern about this thing. It's just mostly plates. Ooh, let's hope there's some oddball colors in 5. Okay. I do see some bricks in there. And everyone's favorite, pink. Isn't that cool? I get some more of those corner plates and some 8 by 8 angler plates. 
What would color? What would you use this color for? I'm seeing vehicles, but also maybe underwater scenes as well. And some four by eight plates. Seen those a million times. Six by six plates in pink. I don't know if I have these in pink or not. And we've seen those corner plates. Seen these one by four plates with the two studs. And some two by four bricks in pink. Everyone's favorite, huh? And some 4x4 four four round bricks. These don't have the Technic holes on the sides, but you can put these on a turntable base if desired. And I doubt that comes with the base. Oh, a white 1x2x2 one by two by two corner plate. How'd that get in there? Let me get some 1x2 bricks and some 2x2 two two flat tiles. And these two colors do go together very well. So you get the bluish green and then the pink. 2x4 plates. Yeah, and some 2x2 two two bricks. Let's see what's in this little one here. Now, are these pieces that I could probably use? Yeah, a good chunk of them I probably could. They're very basic parts. And here we have some 2x2... Two two, uh, I'm not sure the name of these. Probably half-cut 2x2 two two flat tiles. i got to look up the name. And we got some 1x2x2... One by two by two, uh, corner wedge plates. All these could be wedge tiles too. And we got some 2x2 two two flat tile with bow, 1x1 one one brick. Here's some more of these 2x2 two two rounded jumper plates, 1x1 one one flat tiles, and all sorts of stuff. So these are kind of an oddball color for me in these pieces. So what would I use them for? I don't know, maybe making mosaic floors? Who knows? Well, Bank 6 has got a bit more color to it. Almost looks like I'm unbagging a, a, a Lego basic set. Or what is it called? Lego classic these days. So, except for the pink in here, it looks like more of the eight ball colors. Got some more corner plates, some six by six angular wedge plates, two by six bricks, and uh, medium stone gray and red. So there we go. And plenty of blue in here. We got some slopes. We got some 45 and 25 degrees. Okay, I could use those for things. Oh, a downwards. One by two by two by two angler plate. I wonder if we get any more of those. I got a bunch of them, but I can always use a few more. And a one by four brick with four studs. So we got a few of those. And a two by four brick with bow. Two by 16 plate and some two by six by two thirds plate with the four studs on one side. So you get a bunch of those in there. It'd be great for making vehicles, huh? A really nice part for that, nice snot brick too. We got some two by six plates in dark green, two by eight plates in blue. We got some two by 10 or four by 10 plates in black. One of these one by four plates with the two studs. I've got a bunch of these in my collection. I have a few uses for them, but you know, not in the right colors. Here's some 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds plate with the two studs in red. That's a nice color to have. That'd be great for making vehicles. So yeah, that's pretty much what's in there. It's very basic bricks. This is stuff that I grew up with when I was a kid. So these are good building bricks. This is like something you'd see probably about 20, 30 years ago, maybe longer. And some 1x3 flat tiles, 1x2 plates, 1x2 flat tiles, we get some studs in there. Some 2x2 two two plates in black. Oh, we also got them in blue, too. And that's pretty much it. Very basic parts, but there's some pieces in here that I can use. Well, sadly, bag 7 is back to the dull colors again. Look at this here. Looks more like Halloween colors than anything else. And look like these are some kind of Technic pieces. What do you do? You put these together and you make a crisscross? No. What are those used for, anyways? Probably the stand or something for the art. And two by eight plates, some um, four by eight half round plates. Those would be handy for some. Just in the wrong color though. And some three by three and four by four. Flat tiles with bow. 
You get them both in black and white. Not too exciting colors, huh? <laughs> and some white one by two plates with, or one by two bricks with bow. Yeah. <laughs> and some two by two flat tiles, a two by eight plate, yeah. Well, I'm hoping the build is just as exciting as the unboxing, huh? Well, we got some of these 1x2 bricks with bow in black. I don't think I have these in this color. Looking for some kind of an accent. And some 2x2 flat tile with bow. We got them in both white and black, as well as some 1x1 quarter round flat tiles. And some Technic friction pins. So we got a little Technic going on here. And that sums up the unboxing for the modern art set now how do I feel about these pieces is there anything that I can use out of this there is some good parts in here but a lot of common sizes that I've seen now there is some oddball colors like the bluish green and the flame yellowish orange and pink other than that this is pretty much prime parts that I've seen pretty much in any decently sized Lego set you know very common stuff what do you guys think of the parts so far? To me, I'm not too satisfied. Well, let's take a look at the modern art. Well, here it is, with plenty of pieces here off to the right. So this is essentially what you'll be building with 805 bricks. It's just a piece of modern art, and it's just attached to a frame. So bags one and two do the frame. And then three through seven, you make all these shapes. Okay, like you got this big base here, and I can see this being used for some other builds. This is a nice platform for building some other mocks and stuff on. You get some extra shapes to attach to this, so if you want, you can improve this or make your own piece of art. And it's the same one that I used off the front of the box and in here. So in the manual, they do give you four options that you can build from the manual or you can just come up with your own ideas. So it gives you some starter ideas as well as coming up with your own stuff. And in addition, the manual does have the theories behind modern abstract art. It gives you some of the basics in here. So not only you're getting a good piece to look at in terms of the eyes of the, of the person who's looking at this, but you're also getting some educational value with this set as well. And this is essentially what this is. It's on a stand right here. This is meant to be hung on a wall. Here's the hangers right here. So you can put some nails in, or you can hang it like this too. So these brackets can't be removed, and you can move it around and stuff like that. So that's essentially what this is. And of course, like I mentioned, you do have some extra pieces here of various sizes, shapes, and colors. So in addition to the four ideas, you could come up with your own ideas or even mix your own bricks with this, use these as templates, and just make your own pieces. So it's a good starting point for making modern abstract art. Now we're going to jump right on into the review with build experience, and at first this build started off very boring. Why? Because of the stand here. You're just messing with mostly white bricks. So if you're building this and you see that, just bear with it for two bags that's it after that the fun begins you start building a bunch of colorful shapes and stuff like this so a lot of these pieces here you make duplicates of except for stuff like this this is pretty big here you know but for the most part though you are making a lot of the duplicate pieces but i'm happy with the overall results of this set it was fun to put together so my build experience on this was pretty good now, build quality, the frame's pretty strong, the pieces are strong, this is strong here, this ain't going anywhere. But picking this thing up, you gotta be careful where you pick it up at, like hold it like this. This is meant to be hung on a wall because these things can easily come off. So you gotta be very careful with that. Putting them on is pretty easy. Now, the reason why they're loose is so you can take these off and reconfigure things. That's why Lego designers have it set up like that. So you don't have to go in and pry everything off. This is, it's on there secure, just enough to be displayed. So that's really good. So for the build quality, I'd say on this is average. Now for play value, believe it or not, this is a playable set. There's no minifigures or vehicles. 
but one could come in here and take all this off. She or he can make his or her own artwork. So that's one thing really good with this set. This is to explore modern art. That's essentially what this set is, is to kind of get your hands into the modern art. And yes, I took art appreciation classes in college, <laughs> and we had to learn a lot about like abstract, contrast, relation with shapes, sizes, and colors, and all that stuff. So it was really good to, to revisit those old memories of taking art appreciation. But that's one good thing about this, though. You do get some educational value in the instruction manual provided. Now, for the collaborative build, I think up to six people can build this set. So bags one and two, one person has to build the frame. Bag three is a few more accessories. You're just basically building a bunch of accessory shapes on here. And one bag, I believe, built just this. So up to six people. And at the end, you can all put parts on this and make a collaborative piece of artwork, which is really cool. And that's what I'm grading very heavily on in this project is collaborative build. So this set is not shortchanging on collaborative build. So up to six people can enjoy the build as well. So for me, it, it wasn't a dull build. It started off at first, but it's pretty good. Now, I know a lot of people were probably expecting me to trash the set, and when I saw it, I thought, yeah, this doesn't look pretty at all. But now, after really diving into the set and getting into it, I didn't feel like my time was wasted. This was a, was a relaxing build to put together, nonetheless. This is something you do in a nice cold misty rainy day this would be a really good set for that or if it's just too hot to go outside there you go you can put this together so for those who are expecting probably a really low score i'm sorry to disappoint you on this one i'm going to give it a nine the reason being is and i think i mentioned this in the build installments it was the starting out of the project with the frame the frame just seemed boring. I thought, oh, we're starting off with white? You think it started with something fun at first, but no, bags one and two is essentially just this, and it's just mostly white pieces. So you're seeing that, you're thinking, well, I don't know. It's a good frame for making mocks or something on, but for me, I was just kind of bored with the, the beginnings of it, and some of these steps are repetitious. Some of these things you build, like these right here, you build four of these right here. The manual is easy to follow, and a brick separator is provided with the set. So if you make a boo-boo, you can just pry things off. So at least it comes with the tool. So all in all, I'm, I am pleased with this set. Now, just my personal taste, this set is ugly to look at. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This just, this just doesn't appeal to me. I'm not into modern abstract art. But for someone who is interested in this theme and wants to get their hands into modern abstract art. This is the way to go. You don't have to paint anything. And basically that's what Lego is, is abstract art to begin with, you know? I mean, we all make these heavy detailed models, but at the end of the day, it's abstract. You know, we kind of represent things we see in our minds. And this is what some artists probably saw in their minds. One of the Lego creators saw this. There's, but you get up to four plans to build from, or you can come up with your own ideas. So this is meant to explore your imagination. That's basically what this set is targeted for. So for me, like I said, it's going to get a 9 because I'm looking at the playability of this model and it's a collaborative build. So this is something here to really get into as well as the educational values provided in this manual. So it just gives you a little bit of brief theories into all this. But like I said, this is not a set that I'm too fond of, but somebody who's into this, this would be a really good score, as well as a score for parts. For the retail price of $49.99, this is essentially what you're getting. You're getting a bunch of random shapes on a frame here, but there are 805 bricks for $49.99. That's pretty good. So that's a lot of pieces for the dollar. Probably about maybe five to six cents a piece, maybe a little bit more. But a lot of these ideas can be used for other creations as well as this, these pieces. So for me, the price is balanced really good with this set, and I'm pretty much satisfied with the price per part ratio on this model. 
So tell me what you think of this set. Do you think it's worth the $49.99? Do you think this is pretty or ugly? Let me know. For me, I'm just not attracted to how it looks. But I was mainly focused on the collaborative build and build experience with this model, which I'm pretty pleased with.